part one of this course, you're going to take the transactional data that we have and build an interactive sales dashboard on top of it using Shiny and Flex Dashboard. Here's a demo of what you will build. Okay, so I'm in the RStudio ID and I'm just gonna click the run document on this sales dashboard that you're going to build. I'm gonna click the run document button. And what that's doing is behind the scenes is loading up this Flex Dashboard app that you're gonna build. So this is the app over here in our viewer window. But what I'm gonna do is click this button here to break it out and show it in a new window. Okay, so here is the dashboard that you're gonna build. And check this thing out, it looks great. It's got up here some indicators of some high level metrics uh, and some value boxes. That uh, It's got a map of the sales by state. And you can see that Kansas City, or can yeah, Kansas is a, a big uh, revenue driver. Uh, and it's also got a time series map and everything's interactive. So check this out. When we click on this, we can drill into certain things. So if I wanna change the time range, I can drill out to say like 2013 January 1 and then um, I can click the apply button and everything updates in the app. So that's really what you're going to be building and that's the power of using Shiny is that we're going to be able to create a UI centric app that really allows people uh, that are non-technical to be able to interface with your data science. And this is just more descriptive analysis here, just showing things. But eventually, in part two and part three, what we'll do is integrate XGBoost and some predictive analytics and uh, actually build some, some web applications that can predict things. So very cool. All right, let's get started.